Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a tempo map live on the fly in Reaper. Now, we did something similar in a previous video. We created a tempo map, but we didn't do it live on the fly. In other words, entering in our tempo markers as the song plays. We just did it automatically and edited each tempo marker separately. Where here, if we perform it really well, we don't need to edit it quite as much. And it's also more useful if the tempo changes more drastically. So let's see how to do it. I have a project in front of me here where the tempo is pretty loose. Let's hear it. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost of the stories you told. The music's slow. But it can't drown the sound Of hearts breaking quiet when no one's around The clock ticks slow but it's running away I've got words to say but they're slipping away What do we do? I don't think it was recorded to a click, so we're going to start off by zooming in really close to the beginning, and let's see if we could find a rough tempo. So the first downbeat starts right about here. The wine is warm. So let's make that bar three. Let's turn on snapping in our grid. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to type Shift C to add a tempo marker right here. And I'm going to set the time signature to B68. That's what this song seems to be. Then we're going to move this tempo marker right on this downbeat. Hold on Control on the PC, Command on the Mac. But if we do that right now, it stretches our audio. And we don't want to do that. So let's go down to our transport right here and right click and change the project time base to time. So now if we do the same thing, hold on Control on the PC, Command on the Mac and drag it. It just moves our grid, not the audio beneath it. So we're going to start bar three right here. It's warm. And we're going to count two bars later for bar five and where it should land. It's warm. But the room is cold. Right about here. So I'm going to put another temple marker over here, Shift C. Then we can close it, hold down. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and drag it over so it lands right here. So this section should be in time. And we can hear that if we turn on our metronome. Warm, but the room is cold. So this section is about 78 beats per minute. So let's start off with that tempo. Let's delete these, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. Go down here to our tempo and change it to 78. Let's also change our time signature to be 68. So that's where this song is going to start. And we'll make sure our downbeat is still at bar three. The line is warm. That's pretty close. But we could add a tempo marker right here, Shift C, and drag it over, holding Control on the PC, Command of the Mac, to make it perfect. The is so now we're ready to add our tempo markers on the fly. And we could do this as long as we install the SWS extensions. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. And once they're installed correctly, the action we need should show up. So let's go to our actions list by hitting the question mark. And we're going to type in the filter move closest measure. And right over here is the action we want. Move closest measure grid line to play cursor. So it's going to add a tempo marker every time we type or trigger this action. 
which you could assign to a keyboard shortcut, but I'm going to assign to a MIDI note using my USB MIDI keyboard. So hit add right here. I'm going to hit my keyboard. And that's the note that's going to trigger adding a tempo marker in the place where we hit it. Again, on the fly while it's playing live. And we could use a drum pad or a note, or again, just a keyboard shortcut if you want. So now let's close this. Let's go up here to the view menu and view our tempo envelope right here. So you can see it on the fly. Let's also open up a virtual MIDI keyboard down over here. So you can see as I play the note. Let's make this a bit smaller so I can see the guitar and the vocal. And let's add these tempo markers on the fly using my MIDI keyboard. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost of the stories you told. The music's slow, but it can't drown the sound of hearts breaking quiet when no one's around. The clock ticks slow, but it's running away. I've got words to say, but they're slipping away. What do we do when the echoes fade, when the bottles dry and the records play? Do we let it go or hold on tight to the fragile threads of a borrowed night? Your eyes trace lines. So I'm not going to do the whole song. I think you get the idea. As we hit the MIDI keyboard or keyboard shortcut, it entered a different tempo marker. And to hear it back, to make sure it's all lined up, we could add in either a click or I'm going to add a drum loop. So let's hide the MIDI keyboard and the master track. And let's create a new track. Let's open up the Media Explorer and drag in this drum loop that goes with this song. I'm going to drop it on bar three. It's a rex file, so it automatically stays in time along with our tempo markers. So I'm going to duplicate it a few times through the whole section we were working on. That should be enough. And let's hear it playing back and see if it stays in time. And if not, we could always edit it one tempo marker at a time, but it should be close enough based on the performance that I played using my MIDI keyboard. The wine is warm But the room is cold Your laugh's a ghost Of the stories you told The music's slow But it can't drown the sound Breaking quiet when no one's around. I could see this one is a bit off. So I could hold down Alt Control on the PC, Option Command on the Mac, and drag this one to be more in time. Let's hear it from here. Hearts breaking quiet when no one's around. The clock ticks. I can see this one is off as well. Let's fix it. The clock ticks slow, but it's running away. I've got words to say, but this one as well. Clock ticks slow, but it's running away. I've got words to say, but they're slipping away. What do we do? This beat flips around, so let's delete these and instead duplicate this one so it stays with the part we want. 
Actually, gonna cut this down. What do we do in the air? See, this one's a bit off. What do we do when the echoes fade? When the bottles dry and the records play? This one's a bit off as well. So it sounds pretty good. Let's hear it again from the top. The wine is warm, but the room is cold. Your laugh's a ghost of the stories you told. The music's low, but it can drown the sound. Breaking quiet when no one's around The clock ticks slow but it's running away I've got words to say but they're slipping away What do we do when the echoes fade When the bottles dry and the records play Do we let So it sounds pretty good, and we did all this on the fly, without having to edit every single tempo marker, just a few that were a bit out of time. But doing it this way could be a lot faster if the tempo varies a lot more, as you could adjust it based on when you hit your keyboard shortcut, or in my case, a MIDI note, which could be a pad or a MIDI key. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a tempo map live on the fly in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Let's go.